Hey folks, Mr. Justin here with Secret Weapon Miniatures, and in this video I'm going to be looking at creating realistic rock using the Windsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil Colors. The benefit, of course, with the Artisan Water Mixable Oil Colors is that they are water mixable. You don't have to use any of the caustic cleaners or thinners. They're readily available at most uh, hobby stores. Tube lat size is going to last probably the life of your hobby. I have a few just throwaway American Painter brushes and a throwaway Lowell Cornell that I'm going to use to apply some of these paints. The trick in this case is just to apply random dots. You're really doing the dot oil filter method in this case. So I'm just going to mix up some spots here of color. Get one of the brushes damp. Again, I want it damp, not entirely wet. And stipple that color out. Stippling is a method of dabbing the brush down, so stiff, short motions. See, it creates a nice, stippled, dabbed effect. And I'll repeat that with a few colors going a darker this time. Let's get dry out of the water. It's dead. It's just dirty. Whatever you like. And wipe the top rain on your rock. So you're going to get some of that primer color to show through. Really highlight the natural texture of the rock. Let's get a little extra light on this. So you can see how that draws that out. The colors you use are going to really have an impact on what the final product is, of course. I want this to be a little more orange, so I'm going to come back with more of that raw sienna. Stipple into place here and there. Brush it in to blend it. Again, take my towel. You'll wind up with some fuzz from the paper towel. That's all right. Clean that off later. Get your fingertips will brush it out. But that, when it dries, you'll lose the a little bit of oil sheen that you've got to it there. You can see how you get a nice varied effect. More realistic rock. And again, the more color you use, the more varied this is going to be, the more realistic it'll look when it's finished. And then just paint the gravel and the space around it as you would normally. Works on small surfaces and large. And if you take a look at the Runic Mountain line of bases on the Secret Weapon store, uh, you'll see this effect applied a couple of different ways to different bases there. Any questions, drop an email to mrjustin at secretweaponminiatures.com, and I'll see what I can do. Thanks a bunch.